Okay, this is a follow-up video to my recent video on inverting op amps. This time it's about non-inverting op amps. This is the setup. We'll review that in a second. First over to the diagrams. Once again, we're using the LM358. Uh, pin assignments, pin numbers shown. Here's the schematic. Uh, the input signal goes into the positive uh, side of the op amp, pin 3 in this case. That's what distinguishes a non-inverting from an inverting op amp. A non-inverting signal goes into the positive, whereas uh, inverting it goes into the negative. Outputs on pin 1, there's a feedback mechanism through a feedback resistor, RF, off to a common node, and then through a smaller resistor uh, down to ground, and then the feedback back into pin 2, which is negative in this case. There's also 8 volts of positive uh, voltage into pin 8 and 8 volts of negative voltage into pin 4 uh, and that's it. The gain is um, the ratio of these two resistors, in our case 100k and 10k, that's a ratio of 10 plus 1, so the gain is uh, 11 in this case. That's what we'll see when we finally see the output on the scope. Back to the breadboard. Um, everything on the right here we talked about in the prior video is just a simple voltage divider so that I can get these 16 volts from my power supply into a positive 8 and negative 8 with this new common ground. We carry that common ground forward to this side of the board for the op amp. And then the plus and minus 8 volts is carried forward uh, on these rails. Red 8 is the positive and the blue is the negative. So we'll start with that. That's real simple. So um, plus 8 into plus 8 volts into pin 8 minus 8 volts into pin 4 and then we've got the um, the output now we'll start with the input we've got the input coming from the scope it's coming from the scopes um, you know test port um, square wave signal I've got it attenuated through a, a low value resistor so that we get uh, about a hundred or so millivolts uh, into this test setup. And there's also an attachment to the scope so we can see that input signal and compare it to the output later. So that uh, signal comes into pin 3 as you can see. And then on the output side, pin 1, we have this path for the feedback through the 100k resistor back to this common node. I've just shifted pin 2 through this white wire over here so it's not so crowded. It's easier to see what's happening. And then through the 10k off to this ground, uh, the green wire. Let's see what else is there to show. The actual output comes through this yellow wire forward off to the oscilloscope, so we can see that output. And then there, here's the common ground from the scope, the earth ground, which ties everything together to um, earth, greatest. earth ground. There's just that single ground over to the scope. Here's the output and the input, the input in yellow. Um, the uh, you can see that the um, waves move together, so it's, it's a non-inverting uh, up together and down together. Um, and the um, input is at uh, 50 volts, 50 millivolts per division, whereas the output in blue is at 500 millivolts per division. So um, there's that gain. We'll show it by displaying the measurements. Here's the input. It's uh, 126, 128 millivolts, and the output is 1.4 volts peak to peak. So those are both peak to peak values. Do the math, it's, that gives us that 11 to 1 gain that we were expecting, which is great. And I'll just show the board up close one more time, just for my future reference to see the wiring in case I need it for any reason. All right, that's it folks, thanks for watching.